greetings of the day to all of you <clears throat> i welcome you to other part of lecture number 18 in lecture number 18 part a we discussed a three phase balanced non sinusoidal system this is our topic of discussion three phase balanced non sinusoidal system non sinusoidal system we held some important discussions <coughs> and we arrived at uh, some very important conclusions after going through certain amount of mathematics we found that in case of a three phase non sinusoidal balanced system in addition to line currents there is neutral current also flowing in the neutral conductor or neutral wire otherwise we have been taught in our basic electrical engineering course or in our power systems course that a three phase balanced system does not carry any neutral current the neutral current in case of a three phase balanced system is zero but that is true if it is a balanced sinusoidal system what if the system is non sinusoidal we considered the case when three phase voltages were distorted and line currents were also distorted and we found that the neutral current is not zero even if the system is balanced the neutral current if you remember it is given by this equation this expression summation h equal to 3 9 15 i mean triple n harmonics up to infinity i n square this is whole raised power 1 by 2 <clears throat> these are our findings from previous lecture part a of this lecture okay and now uh, that means our uh, neutral current is only because of triple n harmonics you know uh, our in our line currents there are all odd harmonics there are triple n harmonics as well as non triple n harmonics non triple n harmonics although they flow in the line currents but they do not add up and they do not flow in the neutral current they add up to zero i mean and therefore they do not flow in the neutral conductor whereas the triple n harmonics third harmonic and multiples of third harmonics like third harmonic ninth harmonic 15th harmonic and so on they flow in the line currents and they add up and then they flow in the neutral conductor and their rms value is given by this expression these are our <coughs> previous lectures findings and because of this i told you that neutral current is you know approximately or nearly equal to line cu line current therefore the conductor the current rating and the cross sectional area of the neutral conductor is same as that of the line conductors so <coughs> these were some important Uh, you know findings from our previous lecture i also told you that in case of a three phase four wire system if uh, you know you have only three phase loads even if you know you have three phase non linear loads those non linear loads cause only non triple n harmonic currents to flow in the lines like fifth harmonic component of current will be there in all the three lines seventh eleventh thirteenth and so on these are all non triple n harmonics three phase non linear loads result in the flow of non triple n harmonic currents in the line conductors in the lines and we already know that these non triple n harmonic currents add up to zero therefore they do not cause any neutral current neutral current because of these non triple n harmonics is zero then what causes neutral current it is the triple n harmonics and what are triple n harmonics due to triple n harmonics are not due to three phase non linear loads they are because of single phase non linear loads because we know in case of a three phase four wire system this three phase four wire distribution system feeds three phase loads as well as single phase loads three phase loads may be linear as well as non linear linear loads do not cause any harmonic distortion non linear loads cause harmonic distortion but three phase non linear loads result in the flow of non triple n harmonic currents which do not cause any neutral current to flow whereas single phase <coughs> linear loads they do not cause any harmonics or any distortion but single phase non linear loads 
they result in the flow of triplet as well as non triplet harmonic currents all odd harmonics flow in the lines like there is third harmonic fifth harmonic seventh ninth eleventh thirteenth fifteenth seventeenth and so on so these odd harmonics we have divided into triplet harmonics and non triplet harmonics like fifth seventh eleventh thirteenth etc they are non triplet harmonics they do not add up in the neutral they 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 do not cause any neutral current but these triplet harmonics third ninth fifteenth and so on they result in the flow of neutral current which is given by this and since there is widespread use of these single phase non linear loads in modern era like in domestic applications in commercial uh, applications in uh, you know uh, shops business establishments banks offices and in our homes we use many single phase non linear loads which are power electronics based loads and they result in the flow of triplet harmonic component of currents and therefore they result in the flow of neutral current also which is given by this equation even if our system is balanced so these are the findings from our previous lecture part a of this lecture now in part b of this lecture let us try to find line voltage now i will write here a line voltage line voltage say for example you can take any line voltage let us take vab it is equal to va minus vb line voltage is uh, the difference of phase voltages va minus vb or we can write this line voltage to be equal to what is va va is say for example summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn sin of n omega t minus alpha n <coughs> minus vb n where you know n can be 1 3 5 7 and so on n equal to 1 means fundamental component of voltage and then n equal to 3 n equal to 5 n equal to 7 9 they are all uh, you know uh, odd harmonics because only odd odd harmonics are present in the voltages and currents and those odd harmonics can be then divided into triplet and non triplet harmonics anyway this is phase a voltage what about phase b voltage phase b voltage is n equal to 1 to infinity root to vn sin n of omega t Uh, let me write it here because I don't have enough space there. I can write it minus summation n equal to one to infinity root two v n sine n omega t minus one twenty degrees minus alpha n because phase b voltage lacks phase a voltage by one twenty degrees. That's it. So that's what I have written here. <clears throat> so I can expand this expression. i can write it as n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn so this is as it is sin of n omega t minus alpha n minus then this equation summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn sin of what i can do n into omega t is n omega t minus n into 120 is n into 120 degrees minus alpha n so i have i have simply expanded it so what we can do now <laughs> we can write it like this this is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity first term is root 2 vn sin of n omega t minus alpha n that is this minus then i can write summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn <laughs> when i write root 2 vn i can take root 2 vn common and inside i can write sin of n omega t minus i can write alpha n first then minus n into 120 degrees okay so i can write it like this <clears throat> so that gives me i have just rearranged the terms i have Uh, right, written n omega t minus alpha n, and then minus n into one twenty degrees. So that way, 
it becomes so uh, here this is this is the square bracket because this is sign of both the terms then this becomes your a this becomes b and this becomes sign of a minus b trigonometric identity and by the way what is sign of a minus b that is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b using this trigonometric identity we can rewrite this equation as <coughs> Let me use this trigonometric identity. Therefore, the line voltage VAB, I can write that is equal to summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 Vn sine of n omega t minus alpha n. That is this. Then minus summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn is outside what is inside is sine of a minus b that is sine a cos b and what is sine a sine of n omega t minus alpha n into cos b cos b is n into 120 degrees minus cos a sine b minus cos a a is n omega t minus alpha n into sine b sine and into 120 degrees let me close this bracket <clears throat> so this is it now i can further uh, simplify it it comes out to be summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn sine and omega t minus alpha n minus this is summation n equal to 1 to infinity root 2 vn so what is cos n into here i uh, what i will do is that i will write n and uh, let, let us do one thing let me take root 2 vn out so <laughs> i have root 2 here i have root 2 here i will take this root 2 outside what is inside is n not equal to multiples of 3 3 6, 9, so on up to infinity. Now what is inside is Vn. Vn is here, Vn is here, so that has to be inside. Into the first term is this sine of n omega t minus alpha n. That is this term. Minus. <coughs> See, I have taken this root 2 Vn outside. This is root 2, this is Vn. Okay. Then what is here? This is cos n into 120 degrees. And if you see for n not equal to 3, 6, 9, I'm, I'm taking triple n harmonics. Third harmonic and multiples of third harmonics. If n is not equal to this triple n harmonics, if n is equal to non-triple n harmonics, then you can substitute cos in n into 120 degrees. You take any value of n. Like you take n equal to 1, n equal to you know 5, n equal to 7, I mean non-triple n harmonics. Then cos, in that case, cos n into 120 degrees will come out to be minus 1 by 2 for n not equal to 3, 6, 9. It will come out to be minus 1 by 2. And sine n into 120 degrees will come out to be root 3 by 2. Either plus root 3 by 2 for some values of n it will be plus root 3 by 2 and some for some values of n it will be minus root 3 by 2. So therefore my first term here is sine n omega t minus alpha n into cos n into 120 degrees for all values of n when where n is not equal to 3, 6, 9 and so on it is minus 1 by 2. Then minus second term is this cos of n omega t minus alpha n and what is sine n into 120 degrees for some where n is not equal to 3, 6, 9, 15 and so on for some values of n it will be plus root 3 by 2 and for some values of n, it will be minus root 3 by 2. So I will write plus minus root 3 by 2. Close the bracket. Okay. So this is a very interesting result. So then I can further simplify it. Uh, root 2 and not equal to triple n harmonics 3, 6, 9, so on up to infinity. Vn, I have sine n omega t minus alpha n 
Now minus into minus is plus. This is plus uh, 1 by 2 sin n omega t minus alpha n. Then minus, this is plus minus root 3 by 2 cos n omega t minus alpha n. Okay. Now what is this is sin of n omega t minus alpha n and plus this is 1 by 2 sin n alpha n omega t minus alpha n. 1 by 2 plus 1 is 3 by 2. So therefore this can be written as root 2 times summation n naught equal to 3, 6, 9, 15 and so on up to infinity v n. So this term plus this term is 3 by 2 sin n omega t minus alpha n that is first the uh, summation of these two terms and then minus cos of n omega t <coughs> minus alpha n plus minus root 3 by 2 okay so let us further simplify it the further simplification of this expression gives i can take root 3 is here i can take this root 3 out so i will get v a b is equal to I have already root 2 and I can take root 3 also out outside so n not equal to 3 6 9 so on up to infinity so v n is there see I have taken root 3 out it is here 3 so I have to multiply it by root 3 root 3 because root 3 into root 3 is 3 and that comes out to be this root 3 into root 2 is already outside that's there I am taking root 3, I am multiplying this whole thing by root 3, root 3 into root 3 is 3, so 3 by 2, so I will get 3 by 2, sin n omega t minus alpha n, then I have minus, see, uh, then I have plus minus root 3 by 2, root 3 I have already taken common, I have already taken root 3 out here, so what I will get, 1 by 2, so this is plus minus 1 by 2, cos of n omega t minus alpha n okay <clears throat> fine so uh, this is my equation let us do one thing let us represent this uh, root 3 by 2 uh, let it be equal to rn cos phi n and let this plus minus 1 by 2 be equal to rn sine phi n while what is Rn? Rn is the amplitude and it is equal to 1 and phi n is equal to 30 degrees. Because see uh, Rn is equal to 1. When you write cos phi n is 30 degrees, cos 30 degrees will come out to be this and sine 30 degree will be equal to this. So I am just writing this in terms of trigonometric you know i am writing it in trigonometric form rn does not matter because rn is equal to 1 anyway so it is cos phi n now this basically its numerical value is root 3 by 2 when you put phi n equal to 30 degrees it will come out to be root 3 by 2 similarly here when you put phi n equal to 30 degrees it will come out to be 1 by 2 so i have a purpose in because i want to get a final you know expression for uh, this so th therefore if I put it in this equation, this is root 2 into root 3 summation n not equal to 3, 6, 9, so on up to infinity, vn times. So what will be this? I will first write this term, sine of n omega t minus alpha n into second term is root 3 by 2 and I uh, root 3 by 2 is rn cos phi n rn is 1 so it will be simply cos phi n okay so minus then i have plus minus 1 by 2 what is plus minus 1 by 2 i have uh, denoted i have written it as equal to rn sin phi n since rn is 1 so it will be sin phi n so let me first of all write this term cos of n omega t minus alpha n into sin phi n so this will give me another trigonometric identity. This is A and phi n is B. So this is sine of A, sine A cos B minus cos A sine B. 
what is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b that is sin of a minus b so therefore i can simplify it and write it equal to root 2 into root 3 summation and not equal to 3 6 9 so on up to infinity vn times sine of a minus b a is n omega t minus alpha n okay uh, minus b in fact instead of writing minus b i will write plus minus b b is phi phi n okay so uh, this is sine of a minus b or sine of a plus minus b why i have i am writing plus minus here because here i have plus minus 1 by 2 okay so to get this plus minus 1 by 2 i will write plus minus phi n so therefore this will further uh, i mean i can write it in final form as line voltage vab is equal to so vab is equal to root 2 into root 3 summation and not equal to 3 6 9 so on up to infinity vn uh, into sine of n omega t minus alpha n and just few moments back we have written pi n equal to 30 degrees so it will be plus minus 30 degrees that's it so this is the final mathematical expression for line voltage vab in the same way you can find vbc and you can find vca okay they will be only you know mathematical expression will be similar only phase displacement of 1 plus minus 120 degrees will be there now this is the mathematical expression for line voltage for a three phase balanced non sinusoidal system which comprises of in which we have fundamental component of voltage and we have harmonic voltages we have triplet harmonics we have non triplet harmonics okay <clears throat> now if you substitute n equal to you know triplet harmonics 3 9 15 what is the next triplet harmonic 21 27 so on 3 and multiples of 3 these are all triplet harmonics if you substitute n equal to this 3 9 15 21 27 and so on which are nothing but triplet harmonics substitute in this equation See here I have written n not equal to triplet harmonics. For n not equal to triplet harmonics, this is the expression. But when you when you put here n equal to 3, for example, so it will be V3 sine of 3 omega t minus alpha 3 plus minus 30 degrees. Then you will find n equal to 9, ninth harmonic. V9 sine of 9 omega t minus alpha 9 plus minus 30 degrees and so on. For all these triplet harmonics 3 9 15 and so on you will find that line voltage will be equal to zero vab will be equal to zero what does that mean that is a very interesting finding that means although triplet and non triplet harmonics both are there in all the three lines this is phase a line line a line b line c and this is neutral this is you know phase voltage VA this is phase voltage VB this is phase voltage VC and right this is a three phase uh, four wire system <clears throat> these phase voltages although phase voltage means voltage of line A with respect to neutral this is what we mean by phase voltage VA it's the voltage between line A or phase A and neutral similarly what is VB it is voltage of line B or phase B with respect to neutral and VC is voltage of phase C with respect to neutral that means although these phase to neutral voltages or phase voltages VA, VB, VC etc they have they contain both triplet as well as non triplet harmonics but line voltages what is line voltage line voltage is voltage between the lines VAB voltage between phase A and phase B that is line voltage similarly another line voltage is VBC and another line voltage is VCA. Line voltages we have proved, proved that line voltages do not contain triplet harmonics. They contain only non-triplet harmonics. This is a very important finding. In our previous lecture, our one finding was that neutral current 
is equal to 3 times summation n equal to 3, 9, 15, so on up to infinity, i n square, 4 raised to the power 1 by 2, RMS, this is the RMS value of neutral current and this neutral current is only because of triple N harmonics. This is this was our finding in the previous lecture. And in today's lecture, our new finding is that this was about the current, neutral current. What about voltage? Although phase voltages are, they contain both all odd harmonics, both triple N as well as non-triple N harmonics. But line voltages do not contain triple n harmonics because as soon as you put triple n harmonics here n equal to 3 9 15 and so on line voltages become zero so therefore line voltages are free of triple n harmonics this is our next finding this implies that line voltages although phase voltages contain triple n and non triple n harmonics but line voltages do not have or do not contain triple n harmonics they do not contain triple n harmonics okay so from this we already know that line to line voltage we always write it is root 3 times phase voltage line to neutral voltage vln means line to neutral voltage or phase voltage this is a very well established uh, you know um, relation we already know we have been taught in basic electrical engineering course when we were taught three phase circuits, polyphase circuits. We were taught by our teacher that line voltage is root three times phase voltage. But that does not hold true in case of three phase non sinusoidal balance systems. This holds true for three phase balance systems, three phase sinusoidal balanced systems. For three phase non sinusoidal balance system, we found that line to neutral voltages or phase voltages they contain triple n as well as non triple n harmonics of course in addition to fundamental but line to line voltages they contain fundamental and only non triple n harmonics since triple n harmonics are absent here so therefore magnitude of line to line voltage may be less than or equal to root 3 times line to neutral voltage so this relation does not hold good here line to line voltage may be equal to root 3 times line to neutral voltage if we have a sinusoidal balance system but if you have a non sinusoidal balance system then line to line voltage will be always less than root 3 times line to neutral voltage or root 3 times phase voltage why because although phase voltage contains fundamental component and all odd harmonics all odd harmonics means triple n as well as non triple n harmonics but line to line voltage we have just few moments back proved that it contains fundamental and only non triple n harmonics non this triple n harmonics are not there since triple n harmonics are not there so magnitude or amplitude of line to line voltage will be less than root 3 times line to neutral voltage or phase voltage so um, if you multiply it you know this line to neutral voltage if you uh, what is the power power is 3 line to neutral voltage into line current if you multiply it, I want here 3. This is power, apparent power. Power is 3 times phase voltage into phase current or line current. But I have root 3 times phase voltage here. To get uh, 3, you have to multiply this by root 3. So root 3 into, then you have your own root 3, VLN, and also multiply by I. Multiply both sides by root 3 into I. Okay, so this side also I will multiply by root 3, so VLN I. Why I am doing so? Because root 3 into root 3 is 3, VLN into I. I want to get power. See, power in a three phase circuit is 3 times phase voltage into phase current, or it is root 3 times line voltage into line current. Okay, I was having this equation, to get, this is phase voltage. To get 3 times phase voltage into phase current, I want 3, not root 3. So I have to multiply it by root 3 and I have to multiply it by current. If I am multiplying right hand side by root 3 into i, left hand side also I have to multiply by root 3 into i. So that means this apparent power in terms of line voltage is less than or equal to this apparent power 3 to phase voltage into. So, you have two ways of apparent power. 
you you know you have been taught in three phase circuits in basic electrical engineering three phase power when you find that that is in terms of phase quantities given by 3 into line to neutral voltage into line current or 3 times phase voltage into phase in terms of phase quantities and in terms of line quantities it is root 3 times line voltage into line current and these are equal and we have also been taught by our teacher whether you find power by in terms of phase quantities or in terms of line quantities they will give same figure if this comes out to be 10 kilowatts this will also come out to be for example 10 kilowatts but that is not true with balanced non-sinusoidal system because in balanced non-sinusoidal system line to line voltage is less than root 3 times line to phase voltage so therefore root 3 VLLI which is the power calculated by us in terms of line quantities it will be always less than the power calculated by us in terms of phase quantities okay so this is a very important finding just few moments back we are going to uh, just after a few minutes or after a while we are going to use this relation this is a very important relation now let us try to find out apparent power uh, we have to find the apparent power uh, we have vector apparent power we have arithmetic apparent power and we have another type of apparent power that is effective apparent power in case of balanced three phase systems i mean balanced sinusoidal three phase systems the vector apparent power is same as arithmetic apparent power and effective apparent power is also same but in uh, last to last lecture we found that uh, this uh, uh, this uh, uh, arithmetic apparent power is greater than vector apparent power for unbalanced system but today we are discussing a balanced system but a balanced system with uh, harmonics distortions let us try to find out apparent power apparent power now this apparent power say vector apparent power this will be equal to you can write it as s also this is under root of p square plus q square plus d square if the system was purely sinusoidal for three phase sinusoidal balanced system apparent power would have been equal to our vector apparent power would have been simply under root of p square plus q square we already know it but since our system is a balanced system but it is three phase non sinusoidal balanced system it is non sinusoidal balanced system there in addition to active power and reactive power you have to add distortion power also now i have already told you this distortion power is because of distortion or because of interaction of dissimilar voltage and current harmonics say for example third harmonic of voltage interacting with fifth harmonic of current or fifth harmonic of voltage interacting with third harmonic of, of current so they give rise to power which is called distortion power so this distortion power is purely because of harmonics and due to interaction of dissimilar harmonic components of voltages and currents now you already know how to find this distortion power in while studying single phase non sinusoidal systems we have already developed some relation for calculating this dist distortion power how do you find this active power this active power is fundamental power plus power due to third harmonic plus power due to fifth harmonic plus power due to seventh harmonic plus power due to ninth harmonic plus so on or i can write this active power is fundamental power plus harmonic power or i can write this active power is three times v1 i1 cos phi1 v1 is the phase voltage i1 is the line current or phase current so multiply it by 3 and multiply it by power factor angle power factor cos phi1 plus uh, this harmonic power is given by 3 summation and not equal to 1 to infinity v n i n cos phi n so you can now put n equal to 3 so this will be 3 v1 i1 cos phi1 which is fundamental active power plus 3 v3 i3 cos phi3 
प्लस थ्री वी फाइव आई फाइव कॉस फाइव फाइव प्लस थ्री वी सेवन आई सेवन कॉस फाइव सेवन एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज फंडामेंटल पावर एक्टिव पावर एंड दिस इज एक्टिव पावर बिकॉज ऑफ सिमिलर हारमोनिक्स इंट्रैक्शन ऑफ सिमिलर हारमोनिक वोल्टेज एंड करंट्स ओके सो दिस इज पी वन दिस इज पी एच वर दिस फाइव एन हेयर इज इक्वल टू बीटा एन माइनस अल्फा एन बिकॉज बीटा एन इफ यू रिमेंबर इट इज द फेज एंगल ऑफ करंट एंड अल्फा एन इज द फेज एंगल ऑफ वोल्टेज वट इज द फेज रिलेशनशिप दैन बिटवीन वोल्टेज एंड करंट इट इज बीटा एन माइनस अल्फा एन ओके सो सिमिलरली यू कैन राइट रिएक्टिव पावर रिएक्टिव पावर इज फंडामेंटल रिएक्टिव पावर प्लस रिएक्टिव पावर ड्यू टू थर्ड हारमोनिक थर्ड हारमोनिक्स प्लस रिएक्टिव पावर ड्यू टू फिफ्थ हारमोनिक्स प्लस रिएक्टिव पावर ड्यू टू सेवेंथ हारमोनिक्स plus reactive power due to ninth harmonics and so on so this q can be written as fundamental reactive power plus harmonic reactive power that is equal to 3 times v1 i1 sin phi1 plus 3 times summation n not equal to 1 to infinity vn in sin phi n so this is fundamental reactive power and this is harmonic reactive power so uh, if you no what is fundamental reactive power if you know phase voltage rms value and you know rms value of current generally they are given in the equation in the numerical problem or in the example phi angle uh, depending upon the nature of load you already know what is this uh, phase angle between voltage and current okay and you know you may you may be asked to take third harmonic fifth harmonic seventh maybe up to uh, 10 or 15 harmonics add up those harmonics find active power similarly you can find reactive power this way if you know v1 you know i1 you know you know phi1 and you take certain 10 to 15 harmonics add them up you will find reactive power and you know what is distortion power substitute here under root of p square p is p is this we have already found it plus q square q is this plus d square that will give you vector apparent power which is also equal to s vector apparent power is same as apparent power so arithmetic apparent power in this case is equal to vector apparent power and it is equal to effective apparent power also and it is equal to under root of p square plus q square plus d square because in this case we are not uh, finding uh, the neutral i mean we are not including the neutral current when when we find active power we find active power in three lines reactive power also we find in three lines line a line b line c or phase a phase b phase c and distortion power also we find in three phases we don't is there any mention of new, uh, uh, this uh, power loss due to neutral no so therefore in this case when you are not considering the neutral current your vector apparent power is same as arithmetic apparent power it is same as effective apparent power and it is equal to s you can call it apparent power and what is your power factor vector power factor will be same as arithmetic power factor it will be same as effective power factor it is p by s where s is this this is active power and this is apparent power apparent power you have already found here and here also i can write it is same as this arithmetic apparent power or it is same as effective apparent power when you are not considering neutral currents and since the system is balanced for a balanced system the vector apparent power and arithmetic apparent power is same and since we are not considering the neutral current effect so effective apparent power is also same effective apparent power is same as arithmetic apparent power which is same as vector apparent power let us just, uh, uh, denote that by s so therefore these apparent powers are same they are under root of p square plus q square plus d square which we represent by s so all the power factors are also same p by s power factor may be 0.7 it may be 0.8 it depends upon how much reactive and distortion power is there in the system okay so this is about <coughs> apparent power now after this let us try to find out effective apparent power this is vector apparent power and arithmetic apparent power and in this case this is effective apparent power when you are not considering the neutral currents after this when you consider the effect of neutral current also then 
this term will be very helpful to you effective apparent power effective apparent power we already know that this effective apparent power is three times effective voltage into effective current okay now let us first of all take case one three phase three wire balanced system we take three phase three wire balanced system in case of three phase three wire balanced system what is this current what is current effective current we already know effective current is given by this equation ia square plus ib square plus ic square plus in square we have derived it in uh, last to last lecture three now since this is a three phase three wire system we don't have neutral wire here that means even though there are triple n harmonics but those triple n harmonics will not flow in the neutral because we are not providing any neutral wire here neutral wire is absent it's a three phase three wire system it is like this three phase three wire system neutral wire we are not providing we know that neutral current because of triple n harmonics is there only when neutral conductor is present neutral wire that is three phase four wire system but this is a three phase three wire system phase a phase b phase c neutral wire we are not providing so therefore neutral current will be absent so put i n equal to zero in this case i n will be equal to zero so what will be effective current so the, the three line currents will be since this is a balanced system the three line currents are same i a is equal to i b is equal to i c is equal to say i so this is i square plus i square plus i square that is 3i square by 3 3 and 3 goes that's under root of i square so that means effective current is same as line current i is equal to i okay for three phase three wire balance system i e is equal to i and what is the effective voltage effective voltage is given by this relation this relation also we have derived in one of the previous classes vab square plus vbc square plus vca square by 9 <coughs> Now these are all line voltages okay and what are line uh, this is line voltage square plus line voltage square plus line voltage square so that is three times line voltage square by nine three three are nine so effective voltage is equal to v line square so this will be v line by root three and ie just few moments back we found that is equal to i so therefore what will be effective apparent power therefore effective apparent power will be equal to 3 v e i e that is equal to 3 v e is v line by root 3 into i e i e is i we will rationalize it divide and multiply by root 3 so that will give us 3 root 3 v line into i by root 3 into root 3 is 3 3 and 3 cancels so that will give us effective apparent power equal to root 3 times v line into i so that is root 3 times line voltage into current this is effective apparent power okay and let me tell you <clears throat> that this effective apparent power in this case for a three phase three wire balance system it is same as arithmetic apparent power and it is same as vector apparent power and it is equal to s why they are same because since the system is balanced for a balanced system vector apparent power and arithmetic apparent power are same and since although there are harmonics but we are not providing any path for harmony there is no neutral wire so effective apparent power is also same agar aap arithmetic apparent power ya vector apparent power nikale wo bhi yahi equation niklegi so therefore for a three phase three wire balance system of course non sinusoidal balance system neutral current is not there because we are not providing any neutral wire it's three phase three wire system so vector apparent power is equal to arithmetic apparent power is equal to effective apparent power it is as that is given by root 3 times v line into i but therefore power factors will also be equal vector power factor is same as arithmetic power factor same as effective power factor you can say it is p by s 
P is the active power divided by S. S is this root 3 V L by this. It's P by S. Now let us take the second case, three phase four wire system. Now we will take three phase four wire balanced system. Three phase four wire balanced system. Now our system is this. We have three phases, phase A, phase B, phase C, and we have neutral also. Now there will be line current IA, there will be line current IB, there will be line current IC, and there will be neutral current also. Now this neutral current is given by, we already know it is three times summation and equal to, you know, triplet harmonics, three, nine, 15, so on up to infinity, I n square, whole raised power one by two. This is the neutral current, uh, which is which will flow now, uh, which is due to the triplet harmonics, and it will now flow. Neutral current is present now. You cannot say neutral current is zero. Why? Because you are providing the neutral conductor or neutral connection. So this is the new RMS value of neutral current. So therefore, what is effective current? My effective current is given by same relation under root of I A square plus I B square plus I C square plus I N square by 3. Now I A, I B, I C are line currents. They are equal. So they are 3 I A square, 3 I square. Let me write it here. So I E is equal to under root of I A, I B. Since I A is equal to I B, these line currents are equal. I. So I square plus I square plus I square is 3 I square. Plus, what is neutral current? Neutral current is given by this. 3 times summation n equal to 3, 9, so on up to infinity. I n square, whole raised power 1 by 2, whole divided by 3, because we have this whole divided by 3 here. So this will give us effective current equal to this 3 cancels. Here 3 of common lije, cancel ho jayega. So this is under root of I square plus summation yeah, root, raised power 1 by 2 nahi likhna hai because it is already under root. So summation n equal to 3, 9, 15 so on up to infinity i n square. Now you can see my effective current for a 3 phase 3 wire system. What was my effective current? That was same as line current but here it is not equal to line current. It is under root of line current square plus neutral current square. So it will be under root of I square plus I3 square. So if you expand it, it will be under root of line current square plus I3 square, third harmonic component of current square plus I9 square. I mean triplet harmonics plus I15 square plus I21 uh, square plus so on. So what does that mean? That means my neutral current is not equal to line current. My neutral, uh, I mean effective current is not equal to line current. Effective current is greater than line current. How much? That depends upon the magnitude of these harmonics. It may be 2 times line current, it may be 1.5 times line current, it may be 1.7 times line current, but the conclusion is that IE is greater than I. And as far as VE is concerned, that is that will remain same, V line by root 3 for same as in case of a 3 phase 3 wire system. Okay, so therefore. What I can tell you that since IE is greater than I, in other words, I can say I is less than IE. A bit thodi der pahle, few moments back, humne ek relation nikali thi, if you remember, that is root 3 VLLI is less than 3 VLNI. We can write it in terms of that. This is my I. Ye meri I hai. Isko, what I will do is I ko main agar multiply karunga root 3 se or line to line voltage se bhi multiply karunga V line. So this will become root 3 V line into I. Right hand side pe kya hona chahe? 3 into line to neutral voltage or phase voltage into you know line current. IE jo hai ye line current hai. Isko multiply karunga mein line to neutral voltage se, which is VE. Because VE is same as line voltage multiplied by uh, 3. 
तो मैं एक्चुअली इसको इस फॉर्म में लाना चाहता हूँ वॉट आई वॉज गेटिंग आई वॉज गेटिंग आई इज लेस देन आई ई आई ई इज ग्रेटर देन आई बिकॉज ऑफ दिस और इन अदर वर्ड्स आई इज लेस देन आई तो आई मेरा ये है उसको मैं अगर रूट थ्री इंटू वी एल एल से मल्टीप्लाई करूँ रूट थ्री इंटू वी लाइन और राइट हैंड साइड पे थ्री इंटू फेज वोल्टेज इंटू फेज करंट और लाइन करंट आई तो है ही यार राइट हैंड साइड पे ओके इट्स ऑलरेडी देयर मल्टीप्लाई करना है मुझे फेज वोल्टेज से विच इज वी मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री सो वट इज दिस दिस इज द अपरेंट पॉवर दिस इज ऑल्सो अपरेंट पॉवर both are apparent powers but this is arithmetic apparent power and this is effective apparent power because what is your effective apparent power abhi upar aapne likha effective apparent power is 3 ve i it is 3 ve i e and is it is it 3 ve i let me write it again here yahan pe likh sakta hu main i will write like this root 3 v line into i less than थ्री वी ई आई दैट मीन्स अर्थमेटिक दिस इज अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर और वैक्टर अपरेंट पावर इट इज लेस दैन इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर और इन अदर वर्ड्स इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज ग्रेटर दैन अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर और वैक्टर अपरेंट पावर वट डज दिस मीन आपका सिस्टम बैलेंस्ड है और नॉन साइंस सेटल भी है इससे पहले आपने थ्री फेज थ्री वायर सिस्टम लिया था और उसमें आपने प्रूव कर दिया था दैट इफेक्टिव अपरेंट फॉर थ्री फेज थ्री वायर बैलेंस्ड सिस्टम क्योंकि उसमें न्यूट्रल वायर ही नहीं है तो न्यूट्रल करंट फ्लो ही नहीं हो रही है तो न्यूट्रल करंट की वजह से लॉसेज होते हैं न्यूट्रल कंडक्टर में तो वो लॉसेज हम इग्नोर करते हैं क्योंकि न्यूट्रल करंट है ही नहीं बिकॉज इट इज अ थ्री फेज थ्री वायर सिस्टम देट इज नो न्यूट्रल कंडक्टर नो न्यूट्रल वायर सो न्यूट्रल करंट फ्लो नहीं होगी वहाँ तो न्यूट्रल करंट की वजह से जो एडिशनल लॉसेज होती थी वो उसमें दे आर नॉट देयर तो उसमें हमने देखा आपका इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज सेम एज अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर सेम एज वैक्टर अपरेंट पावर एंड हाउ मच वॉज दैट देर वॉज रूट थ्री टाइम्स वी लाइन इन टू आई लेकिन थ्री फेज फोर वायर सिस्टम जब आपने कंसिडर किया थ्री फेज फोर वायर बैलेंस सिस्टम ऑफ कोर्स नॉन विद नॉन साइनसाइडल बैलेंस सिस्टम यू फाउंड दैट ना फोर्थ वायर इज देयर न्यूट्रल वायर इज देयर यू आर प्रोवाइडिंग द न्यूट्रल वायर सो ए ह्यूज हैवी न्यूट्रल करंट विल फ्लो एंड आई टोल्ड यू इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट न्यूट्रल करंट इन मेनी केसेस इज एज हाई एज लाइन करंट एज हाई एज लाइन करंट ओके तो हमने देखा कि जो इफेक्टिव करंट हम निकालते हैं दैट इज ग्रेटर दैन द लाइन करंट इक्वेशन फॉर इफेक्टिव करंट जो हमने निकाली बिकॉज यू फाउंड दैट इफेक्टिव करंट इज अंडर रूट ऑफ आई स्क्वायर प्लस समेशन एन इक्वल टू थ्री नाइन सो वन आई एन स्क्वायर सो इट इज डेफिनेटली ग्रेटर दैन लाइन करंट इट मे बी ऑलमोस्ट टू टाइम्स लाइन करंट टू टाइम्स लाइन करंट इफेक्टिव करंट Now this effective current is not neutral current. It is the effective current of अगर आप एक आपके पास three phase four wire balance system है non sinusoidal उसका equivalent circuit draw करेंगे equivalent जो हमने पिछली class में draw किया था unbalanced system है उसमें effective current आपको निकाल लिया that is this and effective voltage is uh, same that is V line by root three and we found that since I E is greater than I उससे हमें ये मिला उसे हमें ये मिला कि इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज ग्रेटर दैन दिस रूट थ्री वी लाइन वट इज इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर दैट इज थ्री वी ई आई ई सो थ्री वी ई आई ई इज ग्रेटर दैन रूट थ्री टाइम्स वी लाइन आई रूट थ्री टाइम्स वी लाइन आई आपका अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर है या उसको वैक्टर अपरेंट पावर कहिए तो इसका मतलब इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज ग्रेटर दैन अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर दैट इज वॉट वी प्रूव इसका अब ये तो ठीक है ये मैथमेटिक्स है लेकिन वी आर नॉट मैथमेटिशंस वी आर इंजीनियर्स फॉर अस ईच एंड एवरी इक्वेशन होल्ड्स अ मीनिंग व्हाट डज दिस मीन व्हाट डज दिस स्टेटमेंट मीन दैट इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज ग्रेटर देन अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर और इट इज ग्रेटर देन वेक्टर अपरेंट पावर इट मीन्स दैट इन अ थ्री फेज फोर वायर सिस्टम देयर इज फोर्थ वायर एंड इन दैट फोर्थ वायर 
also power is carried wo power hai because of triplet harmonics kyunki usme third harmonic component ninth harmonic component bhi flow ho raha hai 15th and so on all triplet harmonic so that means in addition to three lines a b and c which carry the power fundamental and harmonics the fourth wire neutral wire also carries power but that is purely harmonic power which is because of triplet harmonics थ्री फेज थ्री वायर सिस्टम में आप तीन लाइंस का पावर निकालते थे तो आपका अपरेंट पावर इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर या अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर वगैरह इक्वल आता था सेम व्हाट वाज दैट दैट वाज रूट थ्री वी लाइन इनटू आई लेकिन जो ही अब आप थ्री फेज फोर वायर सिस्टम प्रोवाइड करते हो यू प्रोवाइड पाथ फॉर न्यूट्रल करंट एंड न्यूट्रल करंट इज एज हाई एज लाइन करंट तो अब आपको इन एडिशन ऑफ अपरेंट पावर ऑफ थ्री लाइन आपको एक ये अपरेंट पावर भी कंसिडर करना है जो न्यूट्रल में है सो ये अपरेंट पावर हम इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर की टर्म में लाते हैं तो दैट इज वाई इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर कम्स आउट टू बी ग्रेटर दैन अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर और वेक्टर अपरेंट पावर अर्थमेटिक या वेक्टर अपरेंट पावर में हम न्यूट्रल कंसिडर नहीं करते हम फेज पावर्स कंसिडर करते हैं लेकिन इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर में न्यूट्रल पावर भी कंसिडर होता है एंड सिंस न्यूट्रल पावर एड्स टू द थ्री फेज लाइन पावर्स तो दैट इज वाई इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज ग्रेटर दैन arithmetic apparent power or it is greater than vector apparent power and what about effective power factor effective power factor will be p by sc and what is arithmetic apparent power that is that is equal to vector apparent power that is p by sa or p by sp or that is simply equal to p by s so therefore jo aapka effective power factor hota hai it's always less than vector power factor or it is always less than arithmetic power factor iska matlab ye hua jab jab aapne three phase three wire balance system liya usme neutral to aap consider hi nahi karte neutral power kyunki three phase three wire system mein neutral wire hi nahi hoti hai to neutral power to usme jo aapka arithmetic apparent power hota hai that is same as vector apparent power aur wo same as uh, effective apparent power that is root three times v line into i aur usme jo power factor aap nikalte hain usko vector power factor kahiye usko effective power factor kahiye ya arithmetic power factor kahiye that is p by s let us suppose that was coming out to be 0.8 0.8 kyun kyunki usme harmonic power bhi hai aur reactive power bhi hai let us suppose load is reactive in nature it demands reactive power load reactive power demand karta hai और हार्मोनिक पावर भी है उस वजह से पावर फैक्टर लेस देन यूनिटी आएगा से पॉइंट एट लेकिन जब आप थ्री फेज थ्री वायर सिस्टम को रिप्लेस करते हैं थ्री फेज फोर वायर सिस्टम से लोड पावर यू डोंट चेंज लोड पावर यू कीप सेम ओनली यू प्रोवाइड द फोर्थ वायर न्यूट्रल वायर तो व्हाट हैपन्स आपका अपरेंट पावर बढ़ जाता है योर अपरेंट बिकॉज नाउ यू आर टेकिंग इन कंसिडरेशन द पावर इन द फोर्थ वायर ऑल्सो न्यूट्रल वायर which is because of neutral current so effective power fact effective apparent power becomes greater than arithmetic or vector apparent power to us wajah se effective power factor which is equal to p by se wo aur kam ho jata hai let us suppose up effective power factor aapka 0.7 aa gaya now it is less than 0.8 jo aapka yahan pe vector or arithmetic apparent power aa gaya so हमने हार्मोनिक पावर चेंज नहीं किया हमने लोड पावर चेंज नहीं किया वो कंडीशन सेम रखी द ओनली थिंग इज दैट वी प्रोवाइड पाथ फॉर वी प्रोवाइड पाथ फॉर न्यूट्रल करंट उस वजह से क्या है न्यूट्रल कंडक्टर में भी एडिशनल पावर फ्लो हुआ विच इज बिकॉज ऑफ ट्रिपल एन हारमोनिक्स और उस वजह से अपरेंट इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर बढ़ गया और इफेक्टिव पावर फैक्टर घट गया अगर आपका इफेक्टिव पावर फैक्टर थ्री फेज थ्री वायर सिस्टम में पॉइंट एट था इफेक्टिव पावर फैक्टर थ्री फेज फोर वायर सिस्टम में लेट एस सपोज पॉइंट एट से घट के पॉइंट सेवन हो गया इट इज लेस दैन दिस इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर इज लेस दैन अर्थमेटिक अपरेंट पावर बिकॉज इट टेक्स इन टू कंसिडरेशन द एडिशनल पावर विच इज फ्लोइंग इन द न्यूट्रल कंडक्टर और जो यूजफुल पावर नहीं है न्यूट्रल कंडक्टर में जो पावर फ्लो होता है बिकॉज ऑफ ट्रिपल एन हारमोनिक दैट इज ऑल वेस्ट पावर हारमोनिक पावर यूजफुल पावर नहीं होता है दैट्स अ वेस्टेज दैट इंक्रीजेज ओनली लॉसेज सो टू अकाउंट फॉर दैट एडिशनल न्यूट्रल पावर एंड लॉसेज वी यूज द टर्म इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर एंड इफेक्टिव पावर फैक्टर इफेक्टिव अपरेंट पावर विल बी ग्रेटर दैन 
arithmetic power vector apparent power and effective power factor will be less than arithmetic power factor or vector power factor. I hope now the term effective apparent power is clear to you. I had introduced this term in three phase unbalanced system, but there it was not clear. I told you there itself that this term will be clear in future lectures. And now in, at the end of this lecture, we have come to know what is the significance of this effective apparent power. If the system is balanced and it has no harmonics, then this effective apparent power, arithmetic apparent power, a vector apparent power, same hota hai does not change, have any difference. Or power factors bhi saare ek jaisi hoote hai. Lekin juhi aapka system non-sinusoidal balance system ban jata hai. Us mein neutral power ko consideration mein lene ke liye effective apparent power of calculate karte hai, which is always greater than vector or arithmetic apparent power. And effective power factor is always less than arithmetic or vector power factor. I hope this is clear. Let me summarize what we have learnt in this lecture, part B of this lecture and part A of this lecture, that is the previous lecture. Let me give summary of the last lecture and this lecture. First point is, if you consider three phase sinusoidal balanced system. It is a three phase system, balanced system and sinusoidal system also. We already know this instantaneous apparent power is constant. What is it? 3 V I cos phi. Okay. And uh, reactive power is also constant. Let us not discuss that thing. The effective apparent power is same as arithmetic apparent power, which is same as vector apparent power, which is, which is under root of p square plus q square plus d uh, we don't have any distortion power here for balance sinusoidal system it's under root of p square plus q square and power factor if you find effective apparent power it will be same as arithmetic apparent power it will be same as vector apparent power it is p by s okay now this power factor is always less than unity for inductive load or reactive load. If load has got some inductive component, or if load is purely resistive, then it will be unity. If load is uh, having, in addition to resistive part, inductive part also, or reactive part also, then power factor will be less than unity. The first thing. Second thing is three phase unbalanced system, but sinusoidal. Three phase sinusoidal balanced system. If you are sinusoidal, sorry, unbalanced system. In three phase sinusoidal unbalanced system, this arithmetic power factor is greater than vector power factor. And arithmetic power factor is less than vector power factor. Why? Because, uh, you know, uh, when the system becomes, becomes unbalanced, there are more line losses. The line losses or feeder losses in an unbalanced three-phase system are higher than the line or feeder losses in a balanced system. And to account for those additional uh, these, uh, line losses, we define another type of uh, apparent power, which is called arithmetic apparent power. And this arithmetic apparent power is always greater than vector apparent power. You know, vector apparent power is given by under root of p square plus q square. Simple. But arithmetic apparent power is sum of phase A apparent power, phase B apparent power, and phase C apparent power. And it takes into account the additional line losses because of unbalance. So arithmetic apparent power is always greater than vector apparent power. Vector apparent power jo hai, wo additional line losses ka, does not take those into account. It takes only active and reactive power into account. But this takes those additional line losses. Arithmetic apparent power takes line losses also into consideration. That's why arithmetic apparent power will be always greater than, greater than vector apparent power. Or aapka arithmetic power factor jo hota hai, that's P by SA. Or vector power factor jo hota hai, that's P by SV. So, ye hamesha isse kam hoga. Arithmetic power factor will be less than vector power factor. Less matlab hua that your system is uh, 
uh, having additional losses it takes care of those additional losses okay and giving summary of last few lectures third point is if you take three phase balanced system but non sinusoidal three phase balanced non sinusoidal system isme aap do cheeze aati hai ek to aapka three phase three wire system aayega three phase three wire system aayega three phase three wire system mein effective apparent power is same as arithmetic apparent power which is same as vector apparent power which is and it is equal to under root of p square plus q square plus d square you had d term but there because it's a non sinusoidal system so distortion power will be also there and these power factors are also same and by the way these, this is equal to root 3 v line into i this apparent power and these power factors will, are also same they are simply p by s <clears throat> so depending upon the reactive component of power and distortion component of power the power factor may be 0.6 0.7 0.8 it depends but as soon as you, you change from three phase three wire system to three phase four wire system in case of a three phase four wire system we have just few moments back proved that 3 v e i e is greater than root 3 v line into i that means effective apparent power is greater than arithmetic apparent power or vector apparent power. okay and effective power factor is p by se and vector apparent power or arithmetic apparent power is p by s and this effective power factor is less than this arithmetic power factor or vector power factor so why effective apparent power is greater than arithmetic or vector apparent power because four three phase four wire system in addition to active reactive and distortion powers in the three lines it takes into account that distortion power or harmonic power in the fourth wire that is neutral wire also and the power which is flowing in the neutral wire that is because of triplet harmonics that's not a useful power at all that's not consumed by the load that is just a wastage of power so to take that into account we define another type of apparent power that is effective apparent power and that effective apparent power we have found it's always greater than vector or arithmetic apparent power and effective power factor when you calculate it will be always less than arithmetic power factor for example maine thodi der pehle aapko example di thi three phase three wire system mein agar aapka arithmetic power factor aur vector power factor 0.7 hai 0.8 hai to jab three phase four wire system aapka hoga usme effective power factor let us suppose 0.7 hoga it is less than this because apparent uh, effective apparent power is greater than vector or arithmetic apparent power so this is the meaning of this effective apparent power so therefore to take care of unbalance we have arithmetic apparent power uh, and to take care of unbalance as well as neutral current in three phase four wire system we have another type of apparent power which is effective apparent so i will end my lecture here so that completes our discussions on third case and third case was three phase sinus three phase non sinusoidal balance system and these are the summary points some three to four points i have summarized here so i uh, i hope that uh, and i advise all of you to go through these two lectures previous lecture and this lecture try to understand and try to find what you can do you can design a numerical example because of shortage of time i don't have time to solve so many numerical problems because one numerical example takes one complete lecture at least one hour so you can design a numerical problem you can take a three phase three wire system design the problem yourself and solve that find effective apparent power arithmetic or vector apparent power and power factors and then keeping the load condition source voltage and line currents etc same you go from three phase three wire system to three phase four wire system and find these power factors find effective apparent power arithmetic apparent power effective power factor arithmetic power factor and whatever i have discussed here summarized here you will feel that while solving the problem i advise all of you to go through this lecture and the previous lecture also and in case of any difficulty in understanding any concept please feel free to ask me 
give your feedback stay connected i wish all the best to all of you thank you